So we want to solve this system of equations by addition. Now what makes this one so different than anything else that we've seen? Well this time I noticed that I have squares on both. All my x's are squared as well as all of my y's are squared. So if we want to do it by addition that means that we're going to have to eliminate a term. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to rewrite both equations so we can get a bigger or a better idea of what it is that we actually are going to want to eliminate. Now, sad to say, I noticed right off the bat that neither one of the x squareds or the y squareds have opposite signs. So I am going to have to multiply by a negative on one of them. Now the other thing is, you can choose, do you want to do the x's or do you want to do the y's? It doesn't matter. You can pick which one. If x's are your friend, please pick x's. If y's are better, pick y's. I personally like the y's because they look smaller to me. So I'm going to multiply the top, let's say, by the 3 and I'm going to multiply the bottom by the minus 2. Remember I did that so that I can cancel out the y squared term. So that's going to give me 9x squared plus 6y squared equals 105. And then on the other one I'm going to get 8x squared minus, oh that's a minus 8x squared, minus 6y squared equals, and then this one is by a negative, so it's going to have to be a negative, and it's going to be 96. So now I'm going to add straight down, and notice when you add straight down, the y squareds are going to cancel, so that's going to give me x squared equals, and that's going to give me 9. So how do I get x by itself? I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and when I take the square root of a number, it's plus or minus that number. So I'm going to take that, I get x equals plus or minus 3. So now I need to substitute in a plus 3 as well as a minus 3 into these equations. So make sure you remember this is actually going to be x equals 3 or x equals minus 3. So why don't you pause the video, substitute back in, come back, check your answers, and see if you got the right ones. So when I did the first one I noticed that I got plus or minus 2. Now if I plug in the minus 3, I notice it's squared, so I'm going to get the same exact answers for y. There is no point in reworking all of that if you can notice that right off the bat. Now what I need to do is I need to find a solution set. So if I know it's going to be the same y's for the positive 3 and the minus 3, that means I'm going to have four solutions. So if I have the positive 3, it's going to be tagged up with a 2. I'm also going to have a positive 3 with the minus 2. And then if I have the minus 3, it's going to hang out with a positive 2. And the minus 3 is also going to hang out with the minus 2. So all four of those are going to be your solution set for this system of equations.